Now at five, what is happening in Biscayne Bay? Environmentalists are wondering tonight following days of dead fish popping up. Tonight, some are demanding answers from local leaders. CBS 4's Ty Russell is live tonight in Miami with details. Ty. Well, Lauren and Jim, I'm in Morningside Park. This is just east of Miami's Little Haiti neighborhood. We haven't seen many dead fish here, but we did see one just moments ago pop up here along this park here. We know that county and city workers have been coming through here trying to clean up some of the dead fish that they see out here. And today we are hearing from environmental experts just about their investigation into the likely source of this. But they're also telling us that there's so much going on that's not making this investigation any easier. There are several dead fish steps away from Miami City Hall Friday. Because what's what's coming next is the is climate hell. Yeah. Climate catastrophe. They were placed here by Nicholas Vasquez and Solange Jativa to get the attention of local leaders. We're going to bring the fish to you then so you can see what it looks like. I live on Biscayne Boulevard. I smell this. I see this. I kayak in the water. We swim in the water. We go boating. They took the smelly and lifeless fish from Biscayne Bay. We've been showing you video this week of dead fish in the water. The climate crisis is not pretty. Dr. Todd Crow is the director of the Southeast Research Center at Florida International University. He's helping investigate and describes what's happening as a perfect storm. And so you've got high temperatures, you've got, it looks like low wind because the bay's not mixing, and then you have all this water running overland bringing all these contaminants, fertilizers, weed killers, people, things that people put on their gardens. It all hit the bay, and all those things happen at once. He says average water temperature this time of year is 82.6 degrees. Right now, it's approaching 90. Usual rainfall in July is around 6 inches. This year, there were 10, which means more stormwater drained into the bay. Data from a new high-tech buoy show Thursday night, sea life are suffocating. The oxygen levels went to zero. And so it's not surprising that all the fish are dead. He and his team are now working on a plan to pump oxygen into the bay as a short-term solution. We've been seeing the warning signs for years. Dr. Rachel Silverstein is the executive director of advocacy group Miami Waterkeeper. She says there has to be a long-term solution to protect Biscayne Bay, like permanently fixing sewage leaks and avoiding fertilizer, especially in the rainy summer months. Here we are, you know, not enough has been done clearly because we are seeing, we're reaching conditions where the bay is no longer supporting life.